Sex Pot Comedy, collaborative, community-driven comedy from Denver, Colorado. Now and then, here and there, and always at sexpotcomedy.com. Now, I personally love your laugh. I try to get about seven highs out of you in what's like at a, when I have a set at Comedy Works. And how many comics, like, well, or what comics really stand out to you that really... Like that really bothered them. Like your laugh threw them off. Like, can you think of? Uh, well, Joe Coy was the first one. Joe Coy. And it was the second time that I went to see him. And there were six of us. And um, we were there were three of us right in the front there, and then three right behind us. And mm -hmm. we were sitting there before the show started, and one of the managers came down, and he said, "I had some bad news." And I said, okay. And I was drunk. We've been a happy hour. But, um, <laughs> but I said, okay. And he said, I have to move you. And I said, okay. But I just seemed that had never happened before. And oh, yeah. so I I thought, well, is Barack Obama coming to the show? Somebody, you know, somebody, <laughs> this is weird that they're. Anyway, but I was like, okay. And then he explained that when Joe Coy had come to town to do that round of shows, when he got to Comedy Works, he told the club, if the bald guy with the laugh comes to any of my shows, he can't sit in the front row because his laugh disrupts my act. Uh, God, man. So I, it was a Friday night, and I, so I said to, to the manager, I said, well, so where can I sit? And I instantly felt like I was five years old and I got in trouble. <laughs> breaking my pencil or something. But um, he said, oh, I'll put you wherever you want. He just said, you can't be in the front row. And they would have probably moved people. But yeah. the first, like, three or four rows were pretty much full. So three of us went back to the next available row, which was fourth or fifth row. And um, it was surreal. I'm like... It's a comedy show, but I'm in trouble because I haven't even laughed yet. <laughs> but, um, but so I was sitting there wondering what to do, and one of my friends, she's from Buffalo, and she was she was ready to rip his head off, and I'm like, no, because she's like, when he comes out, I'm gonna yell asshole, and I'm like, no, no, he's not, he's not worth the trouble. It don't, it's he's not worth the attention. I said no. And so we were sitting there, and I finally said to my friend, we'll stay for the openers, because they'll be funny. And then when he comes out, we'll just leave. Mm -hmm. And so his opener was Ty Rivera at the time. He was traveling with him. And, and so I, the, out of everything bad comes something good. And so I got introduced to Ty Rivera, and he's very funny mm -hmm. and a really nice guy. So when Ty finished and he introduced Joe Coy, when Joe Coy, when he came out and picked up the mic, the six of us stood up and walked out. <laughs> so he was, he was the first one. Um, Angela Johnson, speaking of YouTube stars. <laughs> um, and after it all happened, a local comedian pointed out that she's not used to laughter or applause or she's <laughs> from it. She's, she's famous because of the internet yeah and she brought her own opener a guy named Mal Hall who again was hilarious and so I was sitting there and I was with three friends but I was sitting there and having a great time watching Mal Hall but I kept seeing someone come in from where the comedians come in mm -hmm. and um, toward the end of his set the general manager came down and she said Angela Johnson's very easily distracted and she's already commented a couple of times on your laugh. So she asked if you could try to tone down your laugh during her set. And I said, I'll try, that's all I can promise. She said, that's all I asked. <laughs> but I sat there through her show terrified to make a sound. Uh. And and I would have laughed, she's funny, but she can't handle laughter, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, Colin Kane, I think it was the sixth time I went to see him, he told the club he wanted the four front rows reserved for his friends. And I later found out that um, he did it just to keep me on the front row. So, 
damn, Dave. But Dave Chappelle, the last time he was here, said, I'm the best comedy fan in the universe. Oh, that's Joan good. Rivers, the first time I saw her, I got to meet her. She told me I made her show, and she wanted to take me on the road with her. <laughs> so I, I listen to what those people say, who are truly <laughs> funny yeah. and truly nice people. So the other ones, I get another career. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, just, it's weird when it happens, though, because you feel like you just got in trouble yeah. for doing what you're supposed to do or there to do so <laughs> this has been a sex pot comedy joint collaborative community driven comedy produced by Andy Jewett and Kayvon Collett Bari headquartered in Denver Colorado with technical support from Isaac Miller every day at sexpotcomedy.com or at a show near you until next time be well friends